Welcome to Too Many Hobbies. My name is Jeremy, and it's a momentous occasion. I got uh, everything put back together. I still got some more work to do on the playfield here. I haven't done anything on the top, but um, back box is on. Cabinet is still on the cart, just in case I need to raise or lower it or move it around. The legs aren't on. It's not leveled anything like that. Um, but we're ready to power it on, and I thought I'd record it. Um, who knows what's going to happen? Since I don't have the wiring diagram, I wasn't able to verify everything was hooked up correctly. I did inside a whole bunch of connectors. They should be in, in the right spot, but you never know. Strange things can happen when you unsolder a whole bunch of connectors and resolder them back up. So we're going to give it a shot. I've got a power strip down below here so I can shut off the power right away in case something goes horribly wrong, as uh, one YouTuber says. And um, that's Big Clive, by the way. If you haven't seen his videos, they're, they're really good. And uh, we'll turn it on, try to start a game. I do have one ball lo loaded in there. All the switches have been cleaned. Let's give it a shot. First off, turn on the power. Okay. Good, my power switch is working. Second, turn on the main power. No change. Okay, that's fine. We know we got a, uh, there's a relay inside that controls that. Gonna open the coin door and grab my pliers here and see if he'll well actually i'll hit the left flipper button nothing okay flip the switch the other way okay all right i did have it turned on as you can see the back box has lit up we got our lights there working properly it says tilt which is how the game starts um game over is clearly lit up and it looks like it's ready to go. I, like I said, I don't know what's going to happen. So, got my hand on the power switch. And uh, ready to shut it off if we need to. So, we'll try to start a game. Okay. It did start a game. But this, uh, this switch over here is real sensitive on the um, 10 points over here which is understandable because I did pull all the switches apart. So um, started shotgunning there on the uh, slingshot. So we'll adjust that switch and we'll give it another try. Excellent, I'm very happy with how that worked. All right. Hmm. But we got one point on the display, so that's a little unusual. There must be a one-point switch that's activating somewhere. One thing at a time. Okay, so we'll power it on again. Hit the left flipper. And we'll shut it off, because we got something. It's a one-point switch that's being held here. So, got to figure that out. We'll just... Uh, Take my other light here. See if we can find a switch that is held down here. These all say 10 on them, so. Oh, this one is in the back. Okay, this one back here is. Alright, so. We'll put the playfield in the service position. What's the service position, you might ask? This is the easy and safer way to do it. This is the way I prefer to do it. Pull it out a bit. Now that i got the bat box on, we can just tilt it back. Okay. And you adjust at the base of the switch. Put the play field back down now. I do have uh, I do have this cord connected the way it was. I put an inline connector in it so we can pull it apart if I need to pull the play field off. Um, until I get the wiring diagram, probably not going to be able to figure that one out. But we'll we'll see. All right, slide the play field back down. Pull up the plunger. Push down the plunger and power it up again. See what happens. All right, 
switch on. Okay. It says tilt. I'm gonna try starting a game. Another game. We'll see what happens. Okay, we got something holding. I can hear it. And now we got 10 points. So we got another switch that's held on. Let's see if we can figure it out. But we no longer have the one, so bonus. I'm just kind of listening to my switches here. And looking at them. This one's held in. All right. I'll adjust this guy, grab my light again. Slide the playfield back. Pull out the plunger. Put her back down. All right. Power on again. Left flipper button. Okay, good. Looks like we're still in the game. Let's try some switches. Okay, the outer one's not working. Roll back when lit. Hmm. Our ball rack. Okay. Let's see here. Now I did not do anything with the playfield lights on this yet, so there none of those are working. Okay, nothing with a rack in the balls. Okay, we must have we got an extra ball here, probably from points. Not sure on that. Okay, both auto ones work at the same time. Got a coil that's holding on. When I hit this, not sure why, but we'll figure it out. But hey, let's let's see if we can see if we'll start another game. Okay, so it's all right. We're at the end of the end of the game here. It says tilt. We'll try to start another game and see how she resets. Excellent. Well, I've certainly got some more work to do. But I am really happy with that. Um, kind of hope you enjoyed my troubleshooting procedure. That really, literally was the first time that I powered this up. And just a few fixes. And it's kind of the way I tend to fix stuff. Just start at the start. Go all the way through it. And uh, most of your trouble is done. You're just, you're just left with the small stuff. So I will uh, continue with the updates. Okay, I just got a little quick update here. Uh, I've been changing out some of the bulbs, and um, I found a connector issue with, of course, the GI circuit uh, on the connector that I rebuilt. So if that becomes an issue, I might just bypass that one particular pin, but otherwise it's looking really good. I got uh, tweaked it a little bit, and it's working well. Um, still got a lot more bulbs to change, some under playfield bulbs to check out, but uh, just cleaning stuff up, changing out the rubber here. And um, it's looking real good. Just thought I'd give you a little update. Still got to do that piece there. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy with how it's going. It seems to be playing real good. Uh, the back box animation is now working. Not sure why that wasn't working in my initial um, playing of the game. But uh, after the score motor had cycled a few times, that started working just fine. So no issues there. The score wheels have been working great. So things are moving really good. All right, we're just going to do a little test and show you just how a little bit of elbow grease can make up this playfield look so much better. Of course, it's very dirty, uh, hasn't been cleaned for a long time, but we're just going to use a little bit of Novus here. And we're going to make this lady look so much better. Just a little bit of rubbing here. 
see how nasty this is. I'm not even going to go crazy on it. There, you can already start to see the shine. It's looking much better already. Let's do a little bit more right down in here. Now, if I really put my elbow into it and just went crazy with it, I could do even better, which I might do. There. So as you can see, much better. That was pretty much before up in here. Now it's so much nice, nicer and cleaner and good looking. So that's just with a little bit of grease. And that's just Novus too. It's not even wax yet. So that wax will make it look a whole lot better. So of course it'll play better too. And uh, we'll get you some gameplay footage in another video. Alrighty, uh, last night was real good. Got all the uh, light bulbs fixed. Everything's working pretty good. Thank you very much for watching. Check us out on Facebook. And um, check out our playlist on YouTube. And thank you very much.